In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find profitable online arbitrage products to flip on Amazon FBA consistent and predictably, even as a beginner. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Miles. I'm a 24-year-old full-time Amazon online arbitrage seller. Did over a million in sales my first year in 2021. Did a couple million in sales last year in 2022. Going to keep growing that in 2023. So if you're interested in videos like this, drop a subscribe. Let me know any questions in the, in the comments. Let's get after it. Here inside my screen now, and I want to start out by showing you guys what a winning product actually looks like, the breakdown, the numbers on it, everything like that. So we can see immediately here on Amazon, this New Balance uh, women's shoe right here, looking over at the seller amp, which one of the Chrome extension you guys want to be using, you want to be using seller amp and Keepa right here. I have full tutorials on both of those, but uh, Keepa basically uh, shows you supply, demand, and competition price over time as well as seller amp shows you the exact breakdown of specific product right here and now if we take a look at this item right here we can see the lowest price on amazon is about a hundred dollars we can see it actually doesn't have a buy box right here lowest price 100 um right there we can see in seller amp right there don't worry about the ip um on a new balance right there and then if we go over to shop.bss right here which one uh online arbitrage website we can see they're actually selling for 50 bucks right here and at the top of the screen, you can see it's going to pop up right here. You can actually go ahead and get an additional 10% off signing up for their emails right there. And the nice thing is I always talk about coupons on here, how important those are. So coupons are evergreen. While something might be on sale for Mother's Day, it might only be on sale over this weekend. Coupons tend to be evergreen. They're stuff you can use for a while, basically right here. So we can see New Balance 520 V7, 45s so are actually going to pay, yeah, 45 right here. If we plug that in on the seller amp prof calculator, that's going to leave us a profit of $31, a profit margin of about 31%, and a 68% ROI. So it's really good numbers right there. I'd recommend for women sho women's shoes not going below about a 40% ROI on that. We can see there's only one seller on this as well, so it's really, really low competition. Now, if we scroll down to the Keepa chart, we can take a look at the numbers over time on this product we can see back in the day it was pretty pretty consistently around like the 73 75 range right here but that was when the competition was a lot higher right we can see across the past two weeks or so the competition's dropped off a lot from in like the four to six range to now only being in the one to two range actually only one seller um right now so while if i were to go ahead and buy this obviously you guys bunch of people are seeing this video just want to show you guys an example right here what i would probably do is estimate this to sell right around like 85 or 90 right here which is still going to leave me a 40 percent plus ROI right here and that's not including the cash back and your rewards different websites have credit card cash back wrecked and etc um right there we can see the numbers clearly make sense on something like this and i was looking at some of the other sizes um they definitely don't make as much sense we need stuff at uh or seven wide 81 that's that's pretty close some of these uh other ones right here as well we can take a look at yeah they're moderately close some of these other ones right here yeah 90 right there 10 wide 80 yeah i, I assume wide size sell for more looking at uh that but either way even if these only end up selling at 85 we still make 17 bucks a piece profit right and now we want to go ahead and find more products from this because like talk about like rabbit holes and that good products hang out around each other what we can actually do using seller amp is if we go here, I want to take a look at um, one of the more populated variations. So we have a bunch of sellers we can pull up right here. This one, um, I believe, has about 11 sellers. On that, what we can actually go ahead and do is scroll down on seller amp, and then we can find sellers who have a lot of reviews, and then we can go ahead and take a look inside their catalog to see what else they carry, um, basically right here. So this is um, on seller amp as well. So what we can do is, you know, we can see as we scroll down here, the different review counts different sellers have and everything. So I mainly want to be looking at sellers with like, you know, a couple hundred reviews plus um, right there. Just because, you know, those people are making a lot of money on that. That was a very interesting store name, Santa's Tipsy Elves um, right here. Then within seller, if you can actually go ahead and filter into specific brands or specific categories that you like selling, basically. So for this example, um, we can keep going with the uh, New Balance stuff right here. We can see these sellers have tons and tons of product right here. This seller has about um, 700 different uh, SKUs right here. You can go ahead and open up uh, some of these. And then as I'm scrolling through here, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the velocity on different products, which is the sales rank right here. And then I'm going to open up ones that fit my sales rank criteria, basically. So that's like pretty much below 100,000 sales rank, ideally significantly below um, right there. So we can see 11K rank looks good. 
8k rank looks good on that 70k rank looks good on that so let's uh let's dig in and take a look at these uh these items right here c70 getting a little high ranked already on uh on those let's see no sales rank right there yeah we're getting way up into the high ranks already right here we can take a look at uh some of the other stuff and you guys can see if people are selling these other brands right they're doing it to make money so we know that money is being made on this uh this stuff right here so we can take a look at some of this other uh other new bound stuff 9k rank 11k rank 101 looks good right there so let's uh rock and roll in here because we know that if these sellers are selling it and they're pretty successful that they're making money on the stuff right so there's going to be other products that we can go ahead and make money on as uh as well right here so let's take a look now what we want to do is we can see that the velocity makes sense on this product right um, the problem is there's a bunch of sizes and colors right here. So what we need to do is actually go ahead and hop into the variations on Keepa. And then what we want to do is we can see on here on the left, Amazon's on some of these right here. And what I want to do is go here, equals, and then no price. And then now I want to get Amazon off of here so I can look purely at the variations Amazon isn't on, right, that still have sufficient um, reviews. So what I can do is I can filter by reviews right here and see the quickest selling ones that Amazon isn't on right here. So now these are still like moderately um, slow selling right there just based on their review count. But we can go ahead and take a look at these because these are a little expensive. If we can pay 40 bucks or less. We're going to be nice and profitable right here. So we can go ahead and just one click Google that using seller ramp right there. And now we can see, okay, does anything match on these? Ooh, okay. Fresh from kids. Okay, we might be in business right here. Preschool kids shoes. Okay, one medium wide. Interesting. Now, what does the sizing break down? Right here. Okay. Yeah, sometimes kid size is a little bit uh confusing. I believe these are little kids ones right here. Let's, let's see. Three, one, two. Okay. Let's see 54 so at um, 38 that definitely doesn't make sense right there i'm a little bit confused by those sizes too so i just want to kind of learn more on those if i were gonna dig into that further right here definitely not every product's gonna be a winner but looking at how there's other sellers on here that have a similar model to us we should definitely be able to find a, a profitable item or two in the next couple of minutes just from here and that's the goal is to get pretty good at finding stuff over time so you can consistently and predictably hop on and find winning products basically all right, so these are 74 right here. So we want to pay 40 bucks or less, 38 or less, according to the one to two rule, which is how we determined there's a good chance of stuff being profitable right there. 515v3, 515v3, okay. Let's see. So we got a couple of potential candidates right there. And we want the, yeah, okay. So we want the one with the black bottom right there, okay. Let's see. Interesting. And these are women's right here. I believe we want when men's. Okay. So we're not going to be able to do those. And let's see, New Balance 515. We want the black and white ones right here. These are 74 right there. And those aren't even the same thing. One black and white with the gray. Okay. Doesn't match right there. These uh, other ones look extraordinarily high that match on there. 74 hey, okay let's get out of this one right here 9k bsr let's take a look all right let's see what we got let's get these out of here right and that's the thing is like it's just a volume game at the end of the day like the more stuff you look at the more a greater chance you're gonna have of finding stuff profitably and such um on here like let's see these are at 89 do I think we could pay 45 for these? Possibly, right? We'll, uh, we'll definitely take a look right here. And then we can see looking on the Keepa that the price is nicely trending up here. Competition's trending down. So we know that this item definitely does sell. So V12, okay. So V12, okay. Now we just gotta make sure we got the right color. So this is like black green right there. Okay. Ooh, damn, those are up at like 108 right there. We will take a look at those. These blue ones right here. We got 109 right there. Blue and green. Okay. 
right here, 70, and then we got an additional deal, looks like right there. Definitely need to make sure that that uh, works on here, but let's see. Damn, some of these are very, very expensive right here. Let's see, and these are all standard size. Okay, so like a size 12 right here is 70. And then we want to take, it was it 30 off on there? Yeah, okay, interesting. So that's a, yeah, that's a winner, okay. Cool, any of these other ones higher priced? Wow, okay. <laughs> All right, well, we got, let's see, as long as these consistently sell, which we can see they're really expensive right here, but we can see that they're not consistently selling in that range, right? So that would be like a first in, first out FBM play if that were going to go down. But um, some of these other ones, it's looking like are definitely in uh, in profitability range. See, and that's what's nice is these products all hang out right around each other. Like they're all hanging out right in that range. 12, price hidden right here. 71. Oh, Amazon's on this. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Take a look at some of those, uh, some of those other ones. Size eight right there. Price hidden. Amazon must be on it as well. Got some good stuff there. That one, uh, that one was a winner. You can see uh what else we can pull. Got a little eleven K rank um right here. Let's see what we got. I want to get Amazon out of there on the variations because I'm not personally a fan of competing with Amazon um, on there. Some very smart people definitely are. I'm just personally not um, right there. However, you know, there's there's clearly ways to win on that. Okay, let's see. 88 right here. Okay, and I have not seen a match on those. No problem right here. It's the thing. It's at the end of the day, it's a game of getting through the junk quicker, right? And that if you can in start to see patterns, start to see um, history, different stuff like that, you're going to have really a lot easier time over time. And it's just important to get through the grunt work of learning how seller amp works, learning how keep works, et cetera. And then as you guys can see in uh, you know a lot of my videos, I'm able to pretty quickly um, crank out profitable product just because of conviction and speed, basically. Hopping around, okay, a little $50 buy cost right here. We can see these have been very profitable at a $50 buy cost in uh, in the past right here. 50 bucks, okay. Currently unavailable, currently unavailable, okay. Now, were these the right thing? I believe so, right there. Yeah, they got the gum bottom right there, currently unavailable right here. So we'd be able to set the market on these at a $50 buy cost right here. Let's see. Yeah, this is the kind of thing. Yeah, history is uh, 80 plus right there. So at $50 buy cost right there. Toss these up FBM at like 95 right there. Get on the market this week when they come in stock. Definitely not a home run product by any means, but we can see that these have clearly sold out in the past, especially when they were up in the 110 range. So there's going to be money to be made here, especially being that these are out of stock and we could just go ahead and set the market here by going and clicking here pulling the URL from the listing up there and we'd be good to go on that. So that was definitely a winner right there. See if we can pull uh, one more right here. All right, let's see. So these are in the like, oh, wow. Okay, well, these have no buy box. They're super expensive um, right there. I don't think they'd consistently be selling at 120, but we can uh, see what the Kiba chart looks like and see. Yeah, so these are much more consistent. So you want to pay in like the 45, 50 range right here okay uh 52 now we'd have to coupon this further Let's see is any type of coupon gonna pop up okay 10 percent off our next order right here and we wanted the black and red one right here 10 percent off our next order it was 52 so it makes it like 47 right there so let's call it over the past month or so the floor is right in like the 92 95 range Right there, so that is a 51% ROI and it's really low competition. So it'd be pretty easy for us to hop in and get the buy box right there. So something like this, I would probably want to dig in and it's not a home run by any means, but look in here. This is something I did a lot when I was new is I just buy a couple of each of these and just spread them out FBM across this listing. I'd want to you know, make sure this is the right product and uh, such, but it's looking pretty close on, uh, on there. It's got the red sole getting in the black. Red soul getting in the black right there with the gray on uh, on that. Definitely want to make sure name matches up and everything like that. But you guys can see, like, just popping around here in, like, 50 minutes or so, we were able to find, you know, five or so. In this case, there's several purchase ASINs that we could go ahead and test that might end up being pretty replenishable because I wasn't familiar with that um, website either on that. So it's a lot of fun hopping around, taking a look at this stuff and everything like that. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you got any, got any questions, make sure to let me know. Get in the game.
get seller amp we'd love to have you use your as a user keep uh start messing around reverse sourcing list some old products good stuff's gonna happen i'll see you guys in the next one thanks a lot